About 2,000 years ago, in a small town in Galilee, there was a young woman named Mary who was engaged to be married to a builder named Joseph. One day, Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel and given some very unexpected news. She must have been terrified because Gabriel reassured her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for God has chosen you. You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus and he will reign on the throne of David and his kingdom will have no end. Mary was surprised for she was unmarried and just a simple girl from Nazareth. Why would God choose her to be the mother of the Messiah? But she quietly said, I am the Lord's servant, may it be done according to his will. And she praised God for what he was about to do. In those days, an order was given by Caesar Augustus that everybody in the Roman Empire should go back to should go back to their family's hometown for a census. Now, Joseph's family was from Bethlehem, and so he and Mary, who was about to give birth, traveled the 90 miles to be counted. And after many days of travel the, through dusty and rough terrain, there wasn't any room at an inn for them to spend the night. No soft bed, no cozy blankets. The only place they could find to rest was a stable and they're surrounded by animals with only a manger for a cradle is where God chose for his son, the king of kings, to be born. Meanwhile, in the field outside of town, there were shepherds watching over their flocks at night when suddenly an angel appeared to them and they were terrified. But the angel said, do not be afraid, for I bring you good news and great joy for all people. Today in Bethlehem, a savior has been born and you shall find him wrapped in swaddling cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, all the sky was filled with the heavenly host singing. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill to men, towards men. Sometime later, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and took for the Messiah. They saw his star in the sky and knew that royalty had been born. But when they got to the place, place and King Herod, Herod greeted them with surprise and jealousy because the king the king they were looking for wasn't in the grand house but tucked away in the tiny town of Bethlehem. These wise men took their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to Jesus to honor him as the king even though he didn't have the appearance of royalty. Then they slipped away across the desert back to their homeland. Joseph was warned by an angel to, to quietly escape their country and flee to Egypt because Herod was after this baby, Jesus, and he saw as the threat that he saw as a threat to his throne. But God protected Joseph and Mary and Jesus and brought them back out of Egypt. And when the time was safe, there were certainly those like shepherds and wise men and Simeon and Anna in the temple who recognized the birth of the Messiah and worshiped him. But for many more, the birth of Jesus was completely unnoticed. But Mary thought, all of these things and treasured them by in her heart.